Hello and welcome to the final episode of Lions Weekly. I'm Kate Harvey. And I'm Carlos Aguilar. Me and Carlos are coming to you live from the almighty lagoon and the weather couldn't be any better than it is right now. Don't you think? What are you talking about? It's raining outside. No, no it's not. It's gorgeous out here. Look behind you, it's obviously raining. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I, I guess you're right. My bad. Yeah, so anyways, for this episode, we're doing our year in review, bringing you all your favorite clips from this year, as well as your best sports highlights. Let's send things over to Stewie, Austin, and Sierra to get us started on our year in review. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stewie, Sierra, Austin, and we're in the bottom of the lake. Oh, now we're in Volcano. Now we're in Narnia. Now we're in the lion's den. The mall. The woods. On the couch. Ah! Whoa, that was pretty that crazy. That was really scary. But that was just another one of our tricks in the green room. So we got the green room. <laughs> All right, so this is our last episode of Lions Weekly. This is actually our very first year doing it, though, and I think it's been pretty successful. What it's been guys? really, really successful, I think. So a little bit more about this class. We go out and we film stuff that we think would be useful for you. And then we come back and Perry and one of the students edits it and makes it look how Lions Weekly does every week. Top notch. So we got highlights throughout the year and we're just going to show them to you. Hope you enjoy it. Come in. Get closer. Maybe a hole. Just big enough for the chinchilla. Another one that we have is the barbecue club, which I paid Kai Schultz $5 to join. And I haven't barbecued once this year. Escotolo the Chacho Madano El Palmer's Senior Emilia Will Sicato Tacos on Donato Fernando de Quillo Sombrazo For those of you that received them, now would be the best time to put on your designated safety helmets. If you didn't receive one, then find a bucket, a plastic bag, your backpack, your neighbor's hands, anything. Because this is about to get messy. Because your mind is about to be blown across the room like in the next week, just gone. You know, if, you, if that crush is sitting next to you, tell her to move because it's going to splatter everywhere. It's going to be gross. Anyways. Austin, Austin, it's not an alarm. It's not an alarm. It's it. Get the chicken chill. Look out. It's Sandy. Oh my gosh, guys. We just found Sandy. This is, this is Sandy. not a joke. Here. Not like a Sandy. joke. In Thompson's office. Holy Nobody crap. stole her. She's back safe and sound. Uh, we better go tell Thompson. Now we're gonna get inside. Come on, here. Let's go. Not again. Today's potato day. <laughs> oh. Konnichiwa, Yamaha, Honda, Yoshi, Sony, Yu-Gi-Oh, Mitsubishi, Nintendo. Naruto, Suzuki, Godzilla, Sushi, Nihau, Kainan, Nissan, Atari. Yin Yin Pokemon, Tokyo, Toyota, Civic, Hyundai. Sesame Chicken, uh, Jackie Chan, Yao Ming. Here we go. It's turning. It's turning. No, no. It's turning. There's a car. <laughs> So we decided the best way to check out the club scene here at the school was to go clubbing. Yeah, go and dance and... No, Daniel, not that kind of club. Um, you, you don't, you don't mean... Hi guys, I'm Dr. Salazar, and I'm here to tell you about a very horrible disease that's spreading around. It's called senioritis. Alright, we got some authentic Mexican cheese going on right now. Right here. Bam. Right here. My grandma sent it to me straight out of Mexico. We're good to go. Okay, so here we are in Burma. Now, this place is the location of the longest running civil war in history. And it's uh, a little bit hard for. Good, Matt! Okay, well, we're gonna hurry and wrap. 
wrap this up. Now, it's not a very good place for a date because of, uh, as you can see, a little uh, contention. Hey, Stewie. Did you fart? Because you just blew me away. <laughs> Thanks guys, let's hope that next year's going to be the best Lions Weekly season yet. It won't be. Why do you say that? Because I won't be in any of the episodes. But that's why it's going to be even better. Oh. You know what, yeah, you're, you're, you're probably right. I know I am. Anyways, now it's time to look back at all of our sports highlights from the 2011-2012 school year. This was one of the best school years for sports and let's check it out. The football team had a region record of 1 and 4 and their season record was 3 and 7. The wrestling team placed second in region with a dual record of 4 and 1. They also took second in state. Payson state champions this year were Jed Mellon, Zach Loveless, and Cole Ford. Other state placers included Riley Loveless, Mitch Brown, Will Ford, Kalen Loveless, Devin Judd, Dalton Judd, and Derek Johnson. Our boys basketball team worked hard and it paid off in the end. They went undefeated in region and their season record was 18 and 6.
Our boys cross country team placed second at region, giving them the chance to run at the state meet. Those athletes included Kai Schultz, Dakota Lang, Jordan Bailey, Nick Hines, Malachi Dinkins, and Dallin Lowe. Payson also had two girls qualify individually. Their names were Melissa Myers and Ariane Keel. The region track meet was last week. Payson showed several great performances, including the region championship girls 4x400 team, which consisted of Natalie Tobler, Alyssa Rowley, Kaylee Cook, and Melissa Myers. Dakota Lang earned the region championship in the 3200 meter race, and second place in the 1600 meter race as well. The other athletes that qualified for the state track meet this weekend are Kai Schultz and Melissa Myers in the 800 meter race, the boys 4x100 team, and the boys medley relay. They count on you, you broke me. Was I to do when I was lost? Why couldn't he count? The baseball team's season record was 14 and 8, and their region record was 7 and 3. They also had the opportunity to go to the state playoffs. Softball had a good season, with a region record of 6 and 5, and a season record of 14 and 11. Alright Payson, here's the rundown of this year's boys soccer team. Their overall season game record was 9 games won, 6 games lost, and 3 games tied. The boys broke Payson's record by winning the boys soccer 3A region title with Kyle Moffitt scoring most goals and Trevor Carter as MVP. Thanks to the boys hard work and training of their coaches, they made some more history by being the first boys soccer team to win their first playoff game at state. Great job boys, and way to represent. Wow, what a great year. It sure was. What are you wearing? It's another water mask. Why are you wearing it? I'm just getting prepared, uh, prepared for the Rattlesnake Rapids. You're seriously going to wear that during the ride? Yep, I sure am. Don't want to drown, you know? You're not going to drown? You don't know that. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not going to. Uh, well, I'm still going to wear it. Whatever, man. Anyways, that's all we have for you here at Lions Weekly. Thanks for being with us this whole year for the Lions Weekly. I'm Carlos Aguilar. And I'm Kate Harvey. Remember the name and have a great silver pace it. Let's go drown. Yay! Yay! I think I mumbled, but it's fine.